Emma, a New York State notary public at a corporate bank, is asked to notarize a complicated financing contract for a client. The client expresses confusion over certain contractual terms and asks Emma to explain the obligations they entail. Considering the rules under New York law, what is the most appropriate response Emma should provide? To help us answer this question, it's worth noting that under the Judiciary Law, Section 484, found in the Notary Public License Law Booklet, only attorneys can practice law in New York State, and that means that if a notary public is not an attorney, the notary public cannot do anything that can be construed as giving legal advice in any way, shape, or form. Note, there are other places in the notary public license law booklet that talk about this, such as in the rules of professional conduct, but suffice it to say that only attorneys can practice law in New York State. So with this in mind, let's have a look at our four choices to determine the solution. Choice A states, explain the terms to the client as clearly as possible to help them understand before signing. Now, this is incorrect because this would run afoul of the law that we just read from, which states that only attorneys can practice law. And if the notary public is getting into explaining legal terms to the client, that could be construed as legal advice, and therefore choice A is not the correct solution. Choice B states, suggest the client contact a licensed attorney for clarification on any terms they do not understand. Now, this seems to be a prudent course of action and therefore our solution. But before we mark it as such, let's have a look at the other two choices just to be certain. Choice C states, summarize the key obligations briefly, but avoid interpreting the terms. Now, this is somewhat tempting, but ultimately, this can also run afoul of the law that states that only attorneys can practice law, because even summarizing key obligations can be seen as giving legal advice, even if it's in brief, and therefore, choice C is not the correct solution either. And finally, choice D states, refuse to notarize the document due to the client's confusion about its terms. Now, this is incorrect because it's too far-reaching. There is a solution whereby the notary public can ask the client to obtain legal advice from a licensed attorney, and if the client afterwards feels satisfied and understands the terms after consulting an attorney, then the notary public can proceed to notarize the document. Therefore, choice D is not the correct solution either, which indeed leaves choice B. Suggest the client contact a licensed attorney for clarification on any terms they do not understand as the correct solution.